Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech, where we are currently still on Conroe. Eh, that's something we want to take care of. But we have six days until our Wolverine is partially done. Anyway, let's go ahead and take forward two days until our Clint is done. And now the question is, do we want to deploy again without the Wolverine? And I think the answer to that is yes. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll get Coma, appoint a bandit. And anybody else in here? Nope, that looks like all of it. Fantastic. Let's double check the mech bay, make sure everything's good to go. Indeed it is. Okay. And then we are going to deploy on another thing that is... Ooh, this looks very nice. It's an escort mission. Okay, it might take a little while to get this done, but that's double priority salvage. Let's do it. This should be pretty decent. So we're going to go ahead and deploy that. Yeah, we know we have some unused tonnage. We're pretty hard point limited, though. Only so much that we can do for right now. If you find yourself in a fair fight, your tactics suck. Okay, I can agree with that. Although I suspect that John Steinbeck didn't say that. Just a, just a theory. <laughs> Well, we know for a fact that we're going to have the escort vehicles, so we will have some awkward reinforcements there. I doubt that we'll have additional allies beyond that. We generally don't in escort missions. There may be a blocking force. There may be a force that spawns when we spawn the convoy. And there may be a, a force that spawns when the convoy reaches the extraction point. So as many as three forces is what we're expecting. So we need to escort the convoy to safety and escape. We've had reports of local government activity near one of our outlying bases. Unfortunately, we already have a military supply convoy in the field and it'll be an easy prey for a force of mechs. Okay, Davia yeah, made a tactical fumble and we can have a few crates of ammo American fall off the trucks. Indicated. Sounds good. Picking up local government units in this area. We do actually have allies, which is slightly shocking. Is this the evac point? No, that's the capture zone. Looks like there's no blocking force. We have no reason to spawn all the way back here without a blocking force. Evac point is probably going to be somewhere over there. Let's go ahead and spawn right up here. Look at that. Okay, so our allies are going to move here. And we'll see what they do. I kind of don't care about any of that. Okay, we're going to utilize our Mongoose to be the one to capture the capture zone. And then our other mechs, particularly our Centurions, are going to start sprinting down this way. I'm assuming this is the direction we're going to be escorting in. So our Centurions are going to come down here. Yes, Commander. They're kind of slow, so we want to get them started immediately. We're also going to come down here a bit with the Stealth and the Clint. Position confirmed. Okay. Enemy contact. So as expected, we're coming down to this escort zone here. Not all the way down here, but just to here. Okay. And we do see a Cloudbuster AA tank, a Chasseur, a Copperhead, and... Is that it? Orders. Very interesting. We're going to move up to here, be in cover, four evasive pips, and we're just going to pot shot the lasers at this chasseur. Locked on. Actually, that was pretty good. Better than expected. The Wasp Land Air Mech is also going to fire on that same tank and get 20 more damage in. Good to go. Our AC-20 Centurion, ah, over here, a Locust. That's not threatening at all. Our AC-20 Centurion is going to move up over here. I don't expect too much for hits on this Copperhead, but if we hit this with our AC-20, it's going to feel it. In fact, it's going to straight up die. We didn't, but we did do 20 damage to it, so that's Got fine. You want done? The stealth, I think, is going to move up this direction. Move order received. And I'd like to fire on this guy. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is strong side, but it's not a very strong side. Not the best shooting I've ever seen. But it'll do. The striker moves up, does not fire. This centurion is going to... 
I would really like some direct LOS over here that isn't obstructed by the stealth. I guess we're just going to sprint to here. I don't like this position, but it's what we've got. We'll just drop some LRM-20s on this guy. Probably not going to do much. His AMS isn't enabled. Isn't that interesting? Yes, Commander. Now the Clint, I think, is going to make its way over this way. Aye, aye. And we're going to also fire on that Copperhead. Are we better off in short range mode? Probably not at this distance, right? We would be for the ERPPC, but I'm going to stick to long range mode for the pulse lasers, and I'm not going to fire the Rocket 20 here. Extremely solid damage there. Okay, phase 15. The Locust moves now. We don't care about this. Fires on the J27 transport. Does not hit. These guys are all very fragile, actually. What can I do for you? Just an SRM-4. Don't need to tell me twice. Okay, well, we'll just move Get them up go. a bit then. And that is able to shoot at the Locust, but I'm not going to. Got I'm it. just going to position here. Internal damage rockets, huh? Okay, good ya. to know. That's completely fine. We're going to position this J-27 here. You betcha. And let's see what that chasseur does. Not a whole lot, actually. And we're going to move this J-27 up as well. These are barely armed. I was expecting them to be a little more armed than they are, but they're really not armed at all. We're going to move up over here with our mongoose. Our mongoose should be capable of taking out this vehicle. Even on the strong side here, in theory. Now that damage spread out pretty far. Land air mech closes in. Also fires on that same vehicle there. Only the single LRM hit. Okay. The Locust closes in. Fires on that J-27, does three damage to it. The armor can withstand that, but not much more, honestly. Standing by. At this point, I'm going to send the Clint up over here. Short range targeting mode. Light up the Copperhead. Don't fire the rockets, but everything else. One down. Those tandem rockets were not destroyed. We might be able to salvage those. Tandem rockets are pretty good. The stealth I'm going to send up over this way. And we're going to fire on this locust here. Hit odds aren't the best, but we'll give it a go. A few hits there. We'll take it. Waiting for order. This Centurion is going to bring it on around and respond to this Locust as well. If the AC-20 hits, odds are low, but if it does, this Locust is pretty dead. The shot. It did not hit. But we still did a lot of damage there, so that's good. Waiting on you, At this Commander. point. I'm going to take this J-27 up to here. We're going to fire the SRM-4 at this Locust. We did get eight damage in there. I hear ya. We're going to then Good to go. reserve these two. Allied Striker is going to fire over here and do a whole lot of nothing. Cloud Buster hiding behind that Waiting hill still. You, We're going to reserve again here. I think. Uh, yeah, it's... Wait, these are all machine guns? Oh, I thought we still had one more SRM SRM boat there. That is, of course, my bad. We are just going to pot shot the MGs at the Locust then. I wanted to save the machine guns until after the SRM-4s for crit rolls, but that's not relevant. That said, the Centurion hasn't moved yet, and that is something that we should do. We'll position here. Moving to position. And we're going to attempt to tag this guy first. Light him up. And that is a dead locust. Hustle eliminated. Excellent. What can I do for you? So this J-27 is going to position here. We're not sprinting on purpose. A little bit of damage to the mongoose there, but that could have been far, far worse. I hear ya. 
And then we're going to move up to here with the J27. Okay. Ready for order. Next up, this Centurion is going to position over here. Double time. Let's go. The Mongoose is definitely going to come in over here and go for... Do we go for a rear arc hit here? Honestly, I feel like we go for this, but the rear arc hit does actually put us in a better position for the AA tank. So let's do the rear arc hit. We missed a 90% roll there. Oof. Regardless, that's one dead tank. That does mean that the Mongoose has no evasive. Which means that the Mongoose is in a lot of danger from this Cloudbuster. We're going to move in over here with the Clint. Location confirmed. We are going to switch to long range variable range targeting. I am going to fire the rocket 20s here. We want this Cloudbuster pretty dead. Although the odds are low. Hopefully that'll get its attention, but I kind of doubt it. Land air mech moves up, also fires on the AA tank. Indirect, though, only doing 12 damage. What can I do for you? Okay, this is a J27 here. We're going to move that up to here. Uh -huh. Good to go. Just on trying to way. stay out of LOS of the AA tank right now. And here we go. Okay. Took a hard hit there. That's not the choice I would have made. It went after the rear arc of this Centurion, and it could have done some decent damage if it had hit with its second ballistic weapon that apparently is crit or something. For orders. Overall, I feel like it would have been better off attacking that Mongoose. I really, really do. We're going to sprint in a little bit closer here with our stealth. This is unfortunately obstructed LOS, and we're sprinting in, so we're not going to have the best hit odds, but we'll see what we get here. Not bad, actually. We'll take it. Standing by. So this Centurion is going to turn and aim like this. I think those are reasonable hit odds. Light him up. Yeah, he is tag marked. His front arc is really, really weak. On you, We're going to move this J27 over Moving to here. Out. And Waiting this forward. one on over to here. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Okay, when does he move? Phase 12. We're good. So we're going to walk in here. We want to attack the front arc. Because that's what's weakened. Move into position. That's a successful melee. There we go. The local government reinforcements have been destroyed. Another flak FCS in that that we might be able to salvage. So the Clint is going to just move over here and sink heat. And we're going to exit combat after this turn. This Centurion is going to sprint down the road. And it was Pacifist? Okay. He is also going to sprint down this road. We are expecting that the enemies will probably spawn down here, is my guess. So we'll want to get into position for that. This Centurion will need to sprint over towards the road. And try to get working its way down there. What can I do for you? And the J27s are going to continue heading down. On my way. We're not prepared Waiting for them to you, enter the exit point just yet. But it'll be soon. Waiting for orders. Coordinates received. We should be out of combat after this round. Which will, of course, make this go a whole lot faster. There we go. Exiting combat. We'll see what the allies do. They're just kind of moving up. There's not too much to them. Okay. So, we definitely want to move this Centurion as in as we can over the road. Confirmed. The Stealth will move on down. The Mongoose will close in. Got it. This Centurion will take up a position over here. The Clint over here. And then the J27s, they are going to need to start positioning somewhere around here where they can make their way in Got next it. round. Excellent. 
So the allies are continuing to close in. Not like they're amazingly useful. We're going to not do that. We're going to head in with our Centurion. Our stealth is going to bypass this area. The Mongoose is going to take up a position around here. Roger. This Centurion is going to take up a position there. And then we're going to come up over this way for now. Roger. And let's see where these enemies are going to spawn, shall we? You betcha. This side of the hill. Okay. Hold your ground until the package good for is now. On it's it's cooling down a bit. That sounds good to me. Don't need to tell me twice. So we'll just move those on in. I'm wondering why we didn't get to move this guy. That was weird. We didn't get to move this transport. Okay. <laughs> really awkward, to be sure. So we see a locust over there, as well as a second locust. That's not too terrifying. We're going to send our mongoose out over this direction. Affirmative. And our Centurion is also going to go that same direction. Going full speed. Not like it's super fast, but here we are. Yes, We're going to send our Clint out over this way, and the Clint is going to pot shot on that Locust. We are in long range mode. We're unlikely to hit. Engaging. Two damage dealt. Okay. That's more than I expected, honestly. We do see a Falcon over there. As well. Okay, the locust is moving up this way. Sure. Ready for orders. So our stealth is also going to flank around this direction. Confirm. Unfortunately, the leopard is kind of in the way. So phase 16, they've got two movers. Probably these two. They're probably going to go for the striker. Unless I miss my guess. That locust did not fire. Interesting choice. The falcon jumps and does not fire. I hear ya. Okay. Resting my mech. You don't have a mech. You have a J27 transport. <laughs> Wasp land air mech is jumping and doing a rear arc attack on that locust. That's solid. I like that move. Yes, commander. So this Centurion is going to sprint as in as it can, and we're going to toss a few missiles at whoever our hit odds are best on. And it is absolutely the Falcon. We didn't manage to hit any of those, which is sad, but that's okay. Firing on that Locust and missing. Sure. Striker moves up. And this commander. cadet does not move. Got it. This one does. You betcha. There we go. Good to go. Objective secured. And off goes the convoy. Fantastic. Didn't lose any time on that one. So now we are free to eliminate the new lance. Commander. So let's position our mongoose. We have rear arc there. Is this a charge? This is a charge. I'd prefer not to charge with the mongoose. I guess this is the best we can do. 37%, same, and 13. Okay, we're gonna go, go for the side arc on this locust. Here it comes. That was solid. Nice, got past his armor. Indeed. Aye, aye. Okay, we're gonna move up with our Clint here. Can we get into LOS of anything? The answer is no, but we can move up the hill. Okay, phase 18, they're going to move this locust. We'll see what it does. Is it only the three units? I've only seen the locust, the falcon, and the locust. Now that's a bold position to take. Damage minimal. Okay, that's definitely not where I would have moved. Because we've uh, kind of got this going on. Now we could stray shot our Clint with the AC-20 here. Hopefully we don't. 
And indeed we did not. One down. Okay, who else do they move? This locust next. Sure. And then the falcon. The wasp land air mech goes first. Gets five damage into the locust. Not impactful, but it'll do. And now we'll see what that locust wants to do in this situation. If anything. Interesting. It's charging this striker. That is definitely a move I disagree with. You're not going to get a knockdown on a vehicle. You just got a bunch of armor damage and a bunch of stability for nothing. We get a single hit on them and they are completely dead. Full speed, no so we're going to move up with our stealth. We're not in LOS right now. This is exactly what we need. That will make him unsteady. Structure exposed as well. Standing by. Our Centurion is going to close in over here. We are, of Roger course, that. going to hit this unsteady locust. Engaging target. Four damage. Not bad for LOS. Okay, I also disagree with this. Unless that's not a charge. That may not have been a charge. No, that wasn't a charge. So that that's okay. But they missed the attack, which means that this Falcon also has no evasive. Ooh, this is not the angle that I would like to melee attack from. I think we just move up to here. Position like this. Move order received. And we rear arc attack this Falcon. Light him up. Machine gun ammo explosion. That Falcon just got one shot. Okay. Orders. And then our Clint is going to move up to this position here. We are in long range mode. Light up that locust. Confirm. That should be a knockdown. There we go. All because he charged. You gotta be sure about those charges. That's a commitment yes, if you're gonna charge. Copy that. We're gonna move up with this Centurion. We're not in LOS. And we're going to move up with our stealth here. We might just be able to squeak out an LOS. And yes, we can, in fact. That's nice. Some internal damage there to the Locust, but not a whole lot. Inflicted some heavy damage. I'm out of short range. Okay, we're going to move up with this Centurion. And we're going to toss a few missiles at this Locust. I don't really care where they hit. Okay, machine gun ammo explosion. That's that. That's a kill. So that wasn't very threatening, right? But, I mean, we kind of knew that going into this. It was only a one skull mission. We didn't have our Wolverine, so that one was kind of just buying a little bit of time. So let's see what we get from Salvage here. Decent pay, 379k. They want the Locust and the Falcon parts, and they're offering us eight heavy rifles and two medium lasers in exchange. Now, I'm not a big fan of heavy rifles. I'm going to accept this for the reputation because I don't actually care about these parts. I don't care about what they're offering us either, to be clear. Like, I'm not going to take the heavy rifles or the medium rifles. A tandem rocket 20? And a UAC-5, on the other hand, those are definitely things that we'll take. Engine Core 180 isn't awful. We have two of them already, so we can probably sell that. A Flak FCS, that's very good. Very, very good. What else? That's a bunch of heat sinks and jump jets and basic sensors. Any UAC-5 ammo, maybe? Yeah, a double UAC-5. I like it. That'll be what we'll take. Getting rid of the medium rifle for sure. The machine gun as well. Generic armor. Get out of here. The case, we'll keep it around. 
Basic cockpits, no thanks. Engine core 180, we already have some of those. A heat sink, we're definitely going to want. A small jump jet. Sabo heavy rifle ammo. We'll get rid of that. I'm not a huge fan of heavy rifles. I I feel like they're not great, right? They're like objectively they they have all of the same problems that an AC20 has without having the ludicrous damage that an AC20 has if you happen to hit. Like I'm not a huge fan of the AC20, right? Mostly because you have so many eggs in that one basket. And if you happen to miss with it, well, you're kind of screwed. At least until you start getting into heavier mechs. So let's see what we've got here. Oh, we got a bonus reward. Incendiary MRM damage or MRM ammo. Okay. I'm not sure why we got that, but sure, we'll take it. Oh, that was the extra ammo that fell off the that, that fell off the convoy. Right, 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 right. So that'll be 10,000 C bills for repairs. No problem there. It'll allegedly take two days. Let's go ahead and tick forward here. So that's the bar upgrade finished up. Let's see what we want to grab next. In order to continue the reputation, the uh, recreation, actually, not reputation, we're going to need beta pod. That's a pretty big expenditure. Is there anything cheap available right now? Drive repairs are okay. High, high capacity power conduits are not cheap. I mean, we could continue working down our mech bays. Sure thing. It'll take a bit, but That'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to take forward for three more days here. There we go. We're going to play casually. Or, I accidentally passed on it, actually. But that wasn't what I intended to do, but sure. We're going to hop into the mech bay here and see what the Wolverine needs. What do we got? Yikes. Okay. So, it was a pair of medium lasers that we dropped over here, right? So, we're going to drop all of these heat sinks for now. And see where we're at for heat. This does not require... Oh, this does have one free heat sink. So, we'll just move that here temporarily. I'm kind of thinking that we might want to go to double heat sinks here. We do have double heat sink kits, and we can just put in a couple of double heat sinks. Kind of like that. That gives us 11 tons to work with. We've got the MRM20 in this, and we can definitely put on maybe some additional MRM ammo out in the other leg. So the improved MRM ammo. We'll put in one ton of that. Now, we've got two laser hard points over here and 10 tons to work with. I would love to slot in the binary laser here and a medium laser here. How's that looking for heat efficiency? Not amazing, but possibly manageable. We could drop the regular MRM ammo and just put in the improved MRM ammo and then have another ton for a heat sink. So we put in another double heat sink, say, over on this side. That puts us up to 72 heat sinking with our alpha strike at 102 heat. We could drop the medium lasers down to smalls and that'll free up another ton. Probably ER smalls, right? Uh, six heat versus three heat. What is the actual range differential there? 300. That is a doubling of the range. So something along the lines of this. Oh, this is an ER large. I, I meant to put in an ER small. There we go. I was confused a little bit about our heat there. But that is much better. And then we'll put in another double heat sink over on this side. That's more like it. Now, do we have like a heat exchanger or something? It seems like we did. Where would that be? Yes. 
a heat exchanger here. That puts us pretty close. We can simply not fire our ER smalls or one of or our one ER medium laser and sink each. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's go ahead and validate that. And that should be completely fine. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. We can actually maybe get away with a little bit more. No, no, we cannot. Okay, sounds good. We'll get that Wolverine ready to go. That is six days out. I don't think we wait for the six days for that. We're going to deploy without the Wolverine, but I'm pretty happy with that. That's a solid upgrade, I feel like. It is, however, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.